Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to actually go ahead and jump on into the new, I guess, monster density changes that they've done in 3.1, right? Uh, yeah, so I'm pretty curious to see exactly what is going on with this. I've heard a lot of talk about it, but I've never actually personally looked at it myself. And this just came out yesterday, I believe. Um, so... I wanted to post this before Thursday's 3.1.0 expansion announcement as it's not specifically mentioned in our marketing materials but as an important changes. Many players expressed concern with monster density in 3.0. We have addressed this in 3.1 in two ways. So before I start, uh, I want to explain kind of what this is for people who don't really understand. So when you play Path of Exile, there's 15 tiers and I guess 16 if you want to include Shaper. There's tiers of maps, right? So if you pull up your atlas in game, you can see, I guess I can go ahead and jump on in and explain this. Is there like any big patches that I have to update or no? I don't think so. Here it goes, it'll be fast. So there's a there's an atlas in game, and this is just for newer players who don't fully understand this. And when you're on your atlas, a lot of players who race or play, you know, competitively, um, and their goal is to reach level 100 in the quickest amount of time, and even just casual players, pretty much everybody, um, can choose to like manipulate their atlas if you'd like. So manipulation is a term we just we basically made for uh, shaping your maps and skipping maps. So if you look for example, there's tier one, you can see them being highlighted two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to tier 16. So what a lot of players do and myself included, is when you get to like the middle of the tier of maps, which is like basically 10 to 15 would be like middle and upper tier, I would say, because like, I don't know, white maps and below are kind of just poo-poo. You can choose to start shaping. You can actually shape from the beginning, but this is where it's more important to shape your maps to get the density layouts that you want, right? So previously, we would all run certain maps just because other maps have bad layouts and or just don't have density. So there's kind of like this thing that nobody ever really talks about, but it's totally true in the game, and I do believe they brought it up. So let me let me read the next part and I'll explain it. Firstly, rather than trying to normalize the amount of total experience that each map is worth, we are now trying to normalize the total experience per hour of running that map. In order to do this, we have improved our designer tools significantly so they have more control over the player experience in maps of different sizes. <clears throat> we have rebalanced every map in Path of Exile and performance, per, or performed extensive experience per hour testing. We have worked on reducing how often unlucky outcomes with low density can occur. Okay, this. This right here, I wanna explain why this is very important. So when you're running a map and you walk by a wall and you see one blue monster by a wall, do you know what that means? That means that you got fucked by RNG and your entire blue pack spawned in like, I don't know, unob inobstructable, unobstructable fucking terrain that cannot be accessed by the player. So they're just killed off. And you'll see this with like zombie packs, rock golem pack. Well, I mean, pretty much anything can do that. And if you run a map like Terrace, for example, that has like the, you know, the little lines everywhere, the monsters can spawn in between those and completely ruin the density. And this is part of the reason why I shape my Atlas as well, is because it's just, when you play hardcore and there's risk versus reward, there's very minimal amounts of risk for a lot of reward in Path of Exile. And in maps, sometimes I just don't want to outweigh my odds, you know? Um, so they said there shouldn't be any maps that feel underpopulated anymore. Secondly, we rebalance the map mods so that every rollable mod now grants a pack size bonus. A random rare map in 3.1 uh, has more monster density than one from 3.0. This also improves the rewards for running corrupted maps because corrupted maps can roll eight properties, which now automatically would have the highest tier of pack size, which it could before. Uh, but now it's just more accept well more easy to get the pack size roll because everything rolls pack size which i think is pretty cool by the way because rewarding builds like that for pack size rolls i think is good because some builds completely get fucked by certain rolls which kind of sucks for them to have to roll something you know like say uh i don't know 
like resistances or something doesn't really work for you like it doesn't do anything for you but you don't really get much of a benefit but if you play like an inquisitor you completely bypass it so you would want to get rewarded for that so i think this is kind of like a good step i don't even know if resist adds pack size but it does now so that's really good right um <clears throat> Together, these changes should address the community's monster density concerns. As always, thank you for your uh, feedback. We look forward to talking in more detail about this expansion on Thursday. Now, the only thing that I'm confused about is that they said they want maps to be equivalent in XP per hour, right? Um, or maybe they didn't say that specifically. We have rebalanced every map in PoE and performed an extensive XP per hour. Well, I guess they want them to be relevant now. But I'm just very curious how, like, a map like Cells can compare to something like Shore. Because Cells would have, like, you know, it's like Terrace. There's, like, I don't know, you stop, go left, stop, open a door, go right, dead end, turn around, go back. So I don't really know exactly how that's going to work because I don't think that's a density problem. And granted, of course, if you do add more density, much more players will be more inclined to farm these maps. Especially if you put, like, Divination card drops. <clears throat> or if you lock it behind, like, I don't know, a specific boss item, etc. But I'm just curious to know what their method is to that. They did say they they have heavily... We have rebalanced map mods. They said something here. What did they say? They said they changed, like, every map. So either way, I'm, I'm still pretty curious to check it out. But I, I'm excited, though, because 3.1 seems to be really getting a lot of love. Like, we've got the trading post that I haven't even, con like, covered. We've got this one. New skill gems to come. It's a black and green theme. Like, dude, this is going to be an interesting league. I'm getting pretty hyped again. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know my thoughts on it. You guys let me know what you feel as well. And, uh, of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.